Hey guys, let us start working with the methods of Streams API. In this video, let us learn how to implement the filter method and for each method of Streams API. For a list of string objects and also for a list of user defined objects. In our case, let us take it as employee. Let us get started. First, let us create a list of string. Courses is equal to arrays dot as list and pass a list of courses. Now let us convert our courses into stream. For this call the stream method courses dot stream dot filter. This filter takes predicate as parameter. Predicate is a functional interface. You can implement this predicate using lambda expressions or create a class that implements this predicate interface. Now let us see how we can implement this predicate interface using lambda expressions and then we can provide the implementation of predicate inside the filter method. Let me add predicate. In our case the generic type is string pred equal to. Let us see the method that is there in predicate. The method is test. It takes an input of any type but returns a boolean output. Based on the condition, it can return true or false. Now let us implement predicate. The syntax of lambda expression goes like this. Data type arrow method body. Because we are having only one single parameter, we don't have to pass the parenthesis and also we don't need the data type. Within this, we can check for a condition. If str.length is greater than 5, return true. Else, return false. In the curly braces with the semicolon. This is the implementation of predicate interface. So, you need to provide the same implementation inside the filter method. But in this case, we are converting our list into a stream and then calling filter method. It means the data is going in the form of a stream. Based on the condition that you are providing, if the condition is true, the data will move forward from the filter method to the next method. If the condition is false, the data will be thrown out. So, we don't have to provide this big implementation. It is enough that we provide the condition. That is, I can just give str arrow. I don't have to even use the if statement. It is enough I provide the condition. str dot length is greater than 5. If it is true, it will move forward from the filter method to the next method. If it is false, this particular data will be thrown out. Now we have implemented the filter method. This is an intermediate operation. The input to the filter is a stream. The output from a filter is also a stream. We cannot print a stream, so we need to call a terminal operation. For each is a terminal operation. So let us call this for each method dot for each. It takes consumer as parameter. You can notice it over here. Consumer is also a functional interface. Let us see how it can be implemented using lambda expressions. Consumer string con equal to, let me click on consumer. The method of consumer is accept. It takes an input of any type but the return type is void. It means you can write any functionality and you have to print it. You will not be returning any output from this consumer. Let us go back to the trial class. We will implement the consumer interface. Here also it is string str arrow method body. End it with a semicolon. It is not mandatory to add the data type. Remove the parenthesis because only one parameter Within the curly braces, let us like the logic. So, I want to convert my string into uppercase, str dot to uppercase. Because I am having only one single line, I don't even need the curly braces. So, this is the implementation of our consumer interface. The same thing we need to pass it within this for each method. Let me remove null. Here, let me just add str, so str dot to uppercase. Okay, now let me save this and we will run the application. Here you can see the output. In our case, the condition is str.length is greater than 5. 
let us see how this application works our courses is getting converted into a stream so one by one element is entering into the filter first java enters into filter the length is less than 5 so it is thrown out next spring enters into the filter it the length is greater than 5 so it moves from filter to for each method similarly angular moves from filter to for each method the other three elements are having length lesser than 5 so automatically it will be thrown out so the output of this filter method is a stream which is going to have only spring and angular okay now we have worked with the list of string objects let us see how this can be implemented in a list of user defined objects so for that let us create an employee class let us add just three instance variables employee name city and salary now let us add a default constructor a parameterized constructor get a set of methods and generate two string go to source generate constructor using fields go to source generate getter and setter methods select all click generate go to source generate two string now this is done let me create a new class emp main which is having public static void main within this let us create a list of employee objects list angle bracket employee emp list is equal to arrays dot as list within which i need to pass a list of employee objects so let me add a list of employee objects using parameterized constructor this is giving me an error because i have not imported list okay now our list is ready the next step is we need to convert our list into a stream the method is stream emp list dot stream dot filter now within the filter method we need to provide the implementation of predicate in the previous case it was string so it was so very simple to provide the implementation now let us see how to implement predicate for employee let me implement predicate outside over here the generic type is employee pred is equal to so what should i pass over here predicate takes the generic type as parameter that is t in our case this t is employee so i need to pass an employee object arrow method body within the method body i need to provide the condition so what is the condition that we can provide if the employee city is equal to bangalore so emp dot get city dot equals bangalore if it is there then return true guys please understand here we are taking one simple employee object we are getting the city of that particular employee object and checking it equal to bangalore if it is bangalore return true else return false okay this is how we implement predicate in this case as i told you a list is getting converted into a stream so one by one employee object is entering into this filter method so for the first employee object i am getting the first employee object i just have to provide the condition emp dot get city dot equals bangalore that's all it is enough that you provide the condition the condition for filtering the data is the city of the employee should be equal to bangalore how to retrieve it one by one employee object only is entering into the filter method in case of filter it is taking predicate as parameter so i am getting the first employee object i am checking if the city is equal to bangalore emp dot get city dot equals bangalore okay in the next line we need to call the terminal operation for each for each takes consumer as parameter so how can we implement consumer consumer in this case also it is employee con equal to what does consumer have consumer is having the method as accept it takes one parameter but returns no output the parameter should be of type employee and we just want to print the employee object we have overridden the two string method so automatically it will be printed 
in both the cases you don't have to add the parenthesis it is just one parameter right okay no i can use the same implementation here also okay if you notice it is giving me an error because i have not saved the employee class save all now let me run this here you can notice i am getting the list of employees who belong to bangalore what if i want to give a different condition so i can just do the same thing emp list dot stream dot filter get the list of employees whose salary is greater than 10000 filter so here it is emp arrow emp dot get salary greater than 10000 If you are comparing string literals, you need to use equals method. If you are comparing numeric values, you can give greater than, less than, greater than equal to, or equal to. Dot for each. This time, let us use method references. So let me use system dot out double colon println. This is method references. I am trying to refer to a println method from system dot out. System dot out is an object of output stream. This is a static variable, so we are using method references using this. Let me save this and run it. Let me add a println in between so that it is visible. This time I have got four employees whose salary is greater than ten thousand. That's all. Thank you.